My desoldering station is really quite noisy and it's starting to bug me. Excuse me one second. Sorry about that. That was my desoldering station. So as I was saying, the noise from my desoldering station is really starting to bug me. It's not only is it annoying, but when I'm recording, it's also really quite obtrusive. So let's see if I can do anything to shut it up. So this is the thing in question. It's very good, but it's also very noisy. I'll put it back on. So that's on its lowest setting, which isn't too bad. But as we start to crank it up, increasing the airflow, Noisy. Everything seems to vibrate. So I've had a thought and I'm going to try this. I got this off eBay. Some sound insulating foam. It's five mil thick. I've got absolutely loads of the stuff, far more than what I need. But my thought is, providing I don't block the in, um, I don't block the ventilation holes inside the machine, then maybe this will help deaden the sound and stop the damned case from vibrating. But I've got some more ideas with the case as well. So let's uh, let's get the machine open and Let's see if we can get this stuck inside it. So that's it inside. There's not a great deal to it. One big ass pump, transformer, and control board, and a bit of wiring. And that is something that I put on there earlier, previously. Let's put a tie wrap in because one of the cables seemed to be resonating. So I'm going to tie bob that off for now because I've also got some tie wraps rather than that stupid thing. So let's just put it on whilst it's, whilst it's open up and let's have another listen to it. So it's not too bad with the case removed. See all these things that just resonate away. Let's tie that up, tie wrap that up out of the way. Right, got myself some tie wraps. Let's shut this up a minute. Not good for that. Right, let's move this up out of the way. Right, that's not touching anything. Excellent. Let's try that again. 
better. Right, is there anything else vibrating? Just being careful what I'm touching. Right, I don't think anything else is particularly vibrating away in here. So I think the next thing to do is look at the sound deadening and we'll turn everything off. So I've just flipped it over, looking at the underside, there's a few holes in the bottom of it. This must be the only place where it gets the air. There's no holes on the back that I need to worry about and the side is just the just the holes for the screws. So as long as I don't cover this up, I'm hoping that uh, this will work. So here's the lid. I'm just looking at the lid now. There's screw holes here, as you can see, for mounting it to both sides, obviously. Now I'm just wondering I'm just wondering if, obviously this foam will compress. I'm wondering whether to take it the, the full extent or whether it would stretch it too much. I think the first thing to do is to try it on the full width with it going over the holes. And then if it's too wide, I can always trim it back and make it smaller. So that's... That's what I think I'm going to do.
Let's give it a whirl. So that's on its lowest power. That is definitely quieter. There's no vibration from the case whatsoever now. Let's turn it up. Obviously it's going to get louder. That is, that is completely different to what it was before. That is completely different. I've lost all that vibration. That's all gone. Let's just put the hot air gun on as well. Should make a difference because the pump's falling on full power anyway. Yeah, that's everything on. And that is so much quieter. Well, I've made a bit of a mess. It's not been a particularly tidy job inside the machine, but that's a win. So this is, this is the outro of the video. Same setup as the intro. I've still got the machine on and I've got the air set to full power. You can demonstrate by turning it right down. What a difference. I'll turn it off. So the only other thing I've done is I've just sat it on a piece of the same foam insulation just to give it a bit of noise insulation between the desk because that was picking up a bit of vibration as well. And I've still got enough of a gap underneath to have the airflow through it. So I'm, I'm happy with that. But I'm filling an electronic device with what is potentially quite flammable foam. I wouldn't necessarily recommend you do it. But I'm going to give it a try and see how it works for me. So I hope you found that interesting. And maybe if you've got one of these machines yourself, it's something that you might consider. But like I say, don't copy me. I don't know what I'm doing. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you've enjoyed what I've done, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of this sort of stuff, don't forget to subscribe. There's also a link in the description if you'd like to support me and buy me a coffee. Every penny goes into producing more of this sort of content for you. So thank you for that. In the meantime, bye for now, and I hope I'll see you again soon.